Hi, I'm Randy Wells and I'm here with TNT Rescue. Today we're going to be going over some classic scenarios and we're going to debut some of their brand new Generation 2 battery operated tools. The first scenario we're going to utilize today is the B-post laydown or the B-pillar laydown. One of the things that I'd like you to take note with this technique utilized for a side impact or a T-bone accident is the ability of the two firefighters to maneuver quickly utilizing the battery operated tools. Our first step in the B-post laydown is to remove intrusion from the occupant. We're going to utilize the spreaders in the window to complete that step. Next, we're going to utilize the vertical crush again to expose the nader and the latch on the rear door. We just want to open it enough so that we can reach in with the cutters and make that cut. Now, once the individual on the spreaders makes his contact with the roof rail, we want him to take about a half a step back at an angle. That way, when the upper arm hits the rail, the radius will push the door and pull it out to open this area. What I want you to take note on is the speed of opening and closing on TNT's new battery operated tool. Now we got to make the vehicle safe. We're going to strip away any plastic on the inside in the areas where we're making our cuts to ensure there's no dangerous device that's going to affect our rescue. We're going to make sure that we strip away all plastic on the opposite side in which we're working. That way, as rescuers go to make their cut, they're not having to look inside the vehicle at the area they're cutting. They can look across the vehicle and stay in a safe location when making their cuts. Next, we're going to utilize the cutters. We're going to start here at the hinge side of the door and work our way to the back of the vehicle. This allows in tandem the spreaders to come in and begin to create some space for our B-post laydown. We're going to move over to the B-pillar. We want to make sure we double cut above the seat belt attachment and between the roof rail. Once we make this cut, we're going to come back here and remove the sill of the window, then drop down and make the cuts at the rear door to open it up.
And we need to keep in mind that 25% of all roadway incident fatalities are from T-bone or side impact accidents. The occupant is generally trapped somewhere in the hip area between the car seat and the B pillar. We're going to come in with the ram and we're going to start the ram at the back window. We want to move it in increments forward towards the B post at roof line. And we do that so that we can stop short to remove the occupant for EMS transport.